All right, it's been a while. Uh, let's get back into some more amnesia. Now, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get a bit closer to the inner sanctum. I'm wondering what this stuff is. Somebody pointed out to me this probably isn't blood because it's like the wrong color. Actually, they look like petals, don't they? They look like. I mean, I thought that white spot was a was like a shine, but they're all in different places, and it seems to be only right on the edge of each of them. There might be flower petals. That's interesting. Why would there be flower petals strewn all over the place? Mm. Oh. Is this still... Why is the water still... I know it's been a while, but I did I did do that, didn't I? I did the whole thing in the, in the thing with the stuff. Is there like a switch? What's that say? Oh, yeah. What does that actually say in that? Demptio Uleum. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> uh, right. That's where I came from. Um, did I? Let's, let's, let's go and have a look. This is annoying, but <laughs> maybe I should have watched the old video first. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Oh. 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 Maybe the mechanism didn't drain the water, but it did that. But is that going to go down far enough? Is it? Come on. Don't be a bitch. Ah, good. Okay. Ha. <laughs> It's not as straightforward as all that, but I could... Yeah, let's let's take a walk on this rickety bridge. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, no. Okay. Don't know why the other one only lowered halfway, but okay. Cistern. He waited for his eyes to adjust the darkness. No shape or contour appeared. Better to light a candle than curse the darkness. Looks like the sewers in uh, Cyrodiil. A lot like them. A lot more of the. Oh! You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking. Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like the water mill. Exactly. Yeah, look at that. That does it. This is definitely... These are definitely solid objects, not blobs of liquid, because, for one thing, they're not spreading out, and also they seem to be lying side on, like that. God, I've been thinking they've been weird blood or liquid of some kind. Little petals. It's so strange. Okay, that leads nowhere. Oh, no, there's a thing. It's always worth exploring. Find tinder boxes, because I tend to use them a bit too much. Okay, this place is cool. And it's rather peaceful for now. Which probably means it's eventually going to get filled with hideous meat. And I'm not talking about me. Uh, what's that? Spooky noise. Oh. distant voices but I thought oh faint moment echoes through the large empty chamber is there someone in there oh god that would be hideous Water demons yet. <laughs> oh, that's disturbing. You can be a trap in a box like that. Oh, good. Look. Intermittent steam it exhaust. Hmm. It's, it's the oldest puzzle. It's just like pitfall or something. Oh, look at that.
Did that stop them? Yes, it did. Good. <laughs> See an unknown valve next to some steam exhaust? Just turn it. Nothing bad will happen. We'll be fine. Oh. Note. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's... Uh... What was that? Redirect sewer water. Ah! Oh god. Unsettling things! Um, blow out all the torches. Okay, good. Um, I guess it's possible to be a renaissance man when you live that long. You would develop a lot of... Uh, uh, what? Oh, it was a fish. Huh. Hear more horrible noises coming from there. Yeah, if he's been alive this long, then of course he'll be a Renaissance man. And he'll probably have read every book ever written. And seen every movie. Even, uh, Ghostbusters 2. Although, actually, I'm being stupid because this is set before Ghostbusters 2. And all movies. <laughs> Uh, what if we're going to slowly fill the chamber? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> uh, oh. oh wait, there's a thing there. Maybe I can... What was that? No, not the fucking water demon again. I'm just pouring more water on this poor guy, aren't I? There's probably no one in there, it's probably just my imagination. It's probably fine. Uh, yeah. Um, so, Daniel had to embrace the supernatural to survive. I guess when you're being chased by something supernatural, it doesn't make much sense to deny it anymore. Um, why am I going insane? Okay, stand in this light. Ah, my eyes. Going insane means having vision problems, apparently. Uh, hmm. How to lower this? Jump on it. It's attached to a rusty chain. Yes, it is. Uh, the suit first must be drained, then pass. Bridge must be lowered. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you start seeing evidence of the supernatural, that's right about time to believe in it, I guess. But there's no reason to trust it, of course. Because when it's just this strange new set of laws of physics, which don't make much sense. <laughs> and laws anything to go by are inherently unpredictable and dangerous and stuff. I've been this way. Must be another um, twisty turny thing <laughs> uh, to lower that. Uh, these rocks might be here for a reason. Hmm. Down. I think I can break that chain if I throw stuff at it. Probably a long shot. A long shot, I could even hit it. 
Shit. Oh! Well, what do you know? Not nice. Okay, uh, 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 there we go. And where am I going with this? Over here? Yep. These rickety boulders across the piece of wood. There we go. Oh, ah! More unsettling things. I've got to do some reading, damn it. <laughs> 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. You know shit. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about the, the walls growing skin and um, bleeding and strange mystical energy and all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> that gives me a bad feeling. Kind of like uh, going into an asteroid and finding out that it's a worm full of Minox and stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, it looks like that's being drained pretty effectively. So, I think maybe... Let's check this. Yeah, I think I'm done here. So, let's see if we can leave. Okay. Lights. How much do I have? I have a fair amount. Is it worth checking on that again? Let's see what it says. Just want to know what I did. So there was a voice. Well, I guess uh, my quest for vengeance just got a bit uglier. Pressing random innocent people in order to uh, assume my goal of killing Brandon Road. I wonder if he was put there on purpose to put me off doing that. <laughs> well, it didn't work. Because I'm single minded on murdering you, you crazy old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> 